Do you have a Super Duty with a service advanced track message on? This 2015 F250 has the dreaded U codes. But stick around, I have some testing and diagnosis that should help you out. All right guys, here's what I'm working on. I've got a, a 15 F250 and it came in with the service advanced track light on and it had a U3002 ABS code VIN identification number. The module was replaced and reprogrammed and it took care of that code and then it came back in a couple days later with a U0028 restraint control module code and I've got a four channel scope here connected in back probed at the restraint control module and down here is my high speed can uh, that's coming out of the uh, restraint control module into the network and channel one and two up top there is the dedicated network between the ABS control module and the restraint control module and this is the f the code it's flagging for this uh, what was it again? U0028. It's the communication code between the ABS and the restraint control module. And I've got about uh, nine hours into this thing and I finally was able to duplicate it while I had the scope on it while driving it. And I'll show you what I found here. First off, let me remove the key. I actually just shut it off. And you can see that network drops out. But the high speed can it's still talking, and which it should until it times out. Turn the key back on. All right, here's where I'm back probed in. Here's the restraint control module under this 20% seat. And I'm into both communication networks right at the restraint control module. Okay, I'm back over here on the driver's side. And I'm gonna wiggle this wiring up here, show you what I found. I'm not sure which wire. I'm just gonna grab them all up here. Oh, there it is. They're just flaking out right now. Wiggle this wires up there. Look at that. Restored the network. Got my arm up there. Oh. I'm man manipulating the wiring. Look at that network drop out. That's what's setting that code. It's kind of nice to catch it while you've got the uh, scope hooked up. Now I gotta repair it. Okay, you can see my high speed network's still going. And I've got this, this uh, main connector down here disconnected, so obviously it doesn't go through there, but the ones I'm looking for that's affected is the, that closed network. And it's this uh, um, blue with this white tracer and green with the orange tracer. It goes to this connector. When I started wiggling, wiggling these wires, it stopped doing it. And then I haven't been able to duplicate it since, so I disconnected it. I guess I'm going to have to do a drag test on it. I don't see anything wrong. It looks like someone's had this connector out before and there's a tie strap on this uh, main harness here you can see the other end of it well I can't get my hand up in there all right I sprayed some uh, what is it let me look at the bottle here or the can contact and circuit board cleaner up in the connector and then blew it dry. 
and uh, you know plugged it in, unplugged it. I d also did a drag test on it, and uh, the, the uh, female uh, pins felt great. And I'm got it connected, obviously wiggling around, pushing all the wiring. Looks like it's it's fixed. If this thing comes back with the same code, um, then I'll probably just recommend that um, I'll just cut the wiring and, and just wire right around that connector, just hardwired in. Yeah, I'm still wiggling it here. Nothing's happening. It's a nice, happy network now. So there you guys go. These these U codes, man, they can be the most troublesome to find. They just can take so much time.